would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. I know that not every strange thing that pops up in the sky is evidence of alien visitation. But this stayed there for a long time. And so I got my camera out and I started recording. Now I have the sound muted just because where I was was heavily trafficked at the time and you would be hearing nothing but motorcycles and trucks going by. But that clearly looks like something is up there blocking out that cloud. I've never seen 90 degree angles on clouds. In this case, it's more like 30. Have you? Have you ever seen an angle, a sharp pointed angle on a cloud? And like I said, this was State Road 206 in Florida. Just east of US-1, looking north by northwest. Roughly about, I'd say, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Something like that. Just very, very strange to see it stay so clear, so distinct, Literally, you see a cloud here <laughs> that is a rectangle. But then as I watched it, it almost seemed like it was moving and the edges were starting to become narrower. And I think you can start to see that here in the video too. Now I stared at this and stared at this and stared at this. And I'm going to pull out just a little bit here to give you an idea of what we're looking at. It almost seems like we're looking at a wake because you start to see these triangles form. Almost like the wake of thruster fire. Whatever this is, whatever altitude it's at. Almost like the shape of a wing. I'm going to pause it right here. Now we have triangles in clouds. Rectangles, 90 degree angles, triangles in clouds? Really? Now, I thought, well, gosh, you know, I've been on this thing for two or three minutes. I'm going to go ahead and just pan over to show the entire cloud system, I guess, for lack of a better term. And nothing out of the ordinary, nothing strange, just everyday clouds. So you don't see this repeated anywhere until you get back over here. And look at this. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Literally looking like either a wake or a thruster fire. 
I have no idea. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Dead silent, too. I mean, other than, of course, there was regular noise, but it's from up here, nothing. That's clearly something up there. Just start this over and go through it one more time. Just so you can see what I was seeing. And like I said, this wasn't something where I just looked up and just wrenched the wheel over and stopped and started recording. I saw this and pulled over and watched and I thought, well, whatever it is, it's clearly just some kind of a, I didn't know what to call it because really there was no explanation for a rectangular square cloud. I just, you know, this was so stark and stayed this way for so long. I think you might have been able to see a bird fly by so you can kind of get an idea of where we're at. There's another one. And it was just like this. And like I said, I have the speed here at a 0.75 just to get rid of the shake a little bit. But it's just not natural. And I'm like, well, I'm going to record this and I'm going to put it out and let the chips fall where they may on it. But it's this formation right here. That is probably the strangest of all. There's definitely something up there. I don't, uh, I'm not gonna <clears throat> say I know what. It's, uh, doesn't seem to be overall shape-wise triangular like a TR3B. But here you can start to see where it starts to move. And clearly, it's throwing a wake behind it. It might be rotating, and that's why we start to see this part be blocked out up here. I mean, it's it's hilarious. I mean, it almost looks like that's like the uh, the top of a star destroyer. I know this is a dumb thing to say, but it it's really weird the way everything just lays out. And anybody who knows my channel knows I'm not some kind of a technological expert because you're looking at, you know, a smartphone recording a computer screen at the moment. And then we see this strange, and I wish I hadn't done this, but I, you know, you can't change the past. I just wanted to get an overall of the entire cloud formation is to show how stark and strange this was. And that's the, uh, that's when I cut it off. But you can clearly see it's starting to now push beyond the cloud and the cloud is going to reappear behind it. And this isn't another darker cloud. This is not some, uh, clouds don't leave wakes. It was one of the arguments that I made against the uh, the flat earthers, is that if the sun is in the atmosphere, and it's moving at Mach, whatever, you know, to go around the equator, twenty seven thousand miles in twenty four hours, over a thousand miles an hour, where's the wake? You know, clearly something moving that fast through the atmosphere, with that level of heat, would leave a wake of some kind. You'd see some kind of evidence of convection, where you'd see air rising up below it, and air rising above it, and, but you don't, so, because the, the sun is not in the atmosphere, of course. So I guess it goes from this to this. Clearly it was moving. I guess we could take it to 26 seconds here and play it forward 
and show it at double speed. So you can actually see it moving. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you and thank you so much.